For months now, Spirit has been wanting me to talk about cognitive dissonance, fresh from Pilates, if you will, which is interesting because I was like, why do we need to talk about cognitive dissonance right now? Um, Cognitive dissonance is a psychological term, a term we encounter in psychology. It basically describes the discomfort that we feel when we are holding two conflicting beliefs or views or ideologies. For example, we could be knowing that we need to change our food and our our eating habits for our health and yet we're still eating unhealthy fried foods filled with sugar and fructose or we know there's a g-side going on and yet we're still frequenting places that we know are directly um, investing in military stuff right that don't support a cause that we want to do and yet we're still putting our money into those things so people naturally strive for consistency our our beliefs and our actions should theoretically line up with each other that's how we have this internal harmony is when our beliefs and our actions align when we experience cognitive dissonance it's more like we realize there is a need to shift something so that we can feel more comfortable because what cognitive dissonance does is it gives us this guilt it gives us this Eh, something's not quite right. I'm not doing what I should should be doing, right? Cognitive dissonance in itself can actually motivate people to realign, to either think different thoughts, believe something different, decide to change that narrative or that idea that they hold, the belief that they hold, so that it moves towards something that more aligns with our actions. So we either need to change the actions to align with our beliefs or we need to change the belief to align with our actions and that's how we find this harmony or more peace the fun thing with cognitive dissonance is the fact that we have the choice to choose either the belief or the action to change whatever is incongruent but which path are we going to go so kind of follows up on the last video i posted which i recorded months ago which is saying like which discomfort would you like which which one feels better right is it changing the belief that's really hard to do but also if your belief is you know we should not be supporting structures that give direct money to aiding you know g sides then i mean that's a pretty strong belief and it's also a pretty important belief i would say in terms of like being human and having humanity now if we don't then align our actions to that belief to do what we can we're just kind of sitting in this discomfort, right? And so what our bodies and our minds do often enough when our actions aren't aligning to the beliefs, we start making excuses for ourselves. We start telling ourselves, oh, well, you know, one Diet Coke a day isn't so bad, even though I see what it does to like a penny when you put a penny in Diet Coke, right? Like we we can trick ourselves or not even trick, we can just lie to ourselves about what we do and don't need to do so that we don't have to change that belief so that we don't have to feel like horrible terrible people that aren't you know sticking to their guns and so as i'm processing this out i'm kind of it's coming to me what spirit wanted me to indicate about cognitive dissonance it's about once again if we don't see a problem we cannot fix it and so when we see oh, this is cognitive dissonance. When we're able to name something that is happening for us, we are then able to shift into a more helpful space or we're just very quite aware of how we're not shifting into a better space for our highest and greatest selves, right? It's like, know better, do better. But if you know better and you don't do better, you're going to be uncomfortable, girl. (laughs) It's just going to suck. I think what spirit has been wanting me to share is like, One, we have to see it, right? If we don't see it, we can't change it. And then two, how do we make choices for our conscious self? Because a lot of the time, actually 95% of the time, we're living from our subconscious mind and the ideals and beliefs that were downloaded to us when we were ages zero to seven from our families or whoever we were around at that time. And those ideas and beliefs aren't necessarily helpful. Most of them are limiting. So if you think about it, cognitive dissonance is like that belief that you hold that's kind of coming from your conscious mind, except your actual actions are usually coming from your subconscious mind, which means how do we make there be some congruency so that what we are doing and saying matches with what we actually believe should be and actually have in our heart and know is true and right. If you know better, you get to choose better.
But that's the thing. You have to choose. If you are able to see that either your belief or your actions are not in alignment with each other, some, there's some incongruence there, you're able to then decide what kind of person do I want to be and which do I want to choose? Do I want to choose to keep in on the action that I know does not support the belief that I actually want to believe? Or am I going to utilize the belief that I know is right, know is true, and then I'm going to change my actions to move towards that? The latter is a lot harder to do. I'm not going to lie to you. It's it's incredibly uncomfortable and difficult. So choose wisely. <laughs> okay, that's my TED Talk for today. Bye. I just came from Pilates, by the way. So don't hate on me. Just, just ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs>